Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to define relative isotopic mass and relative atomic mass. You should then be able to calculate relative atomic mass from isotope data. Now this video is all about the masses of atoms. The problem is that atoms are extremely small so they've got extremely small masses. Here's the mass of one atom of hydrogen and you can see that it's a tiny number. Scientists solve this problem by using relative mass. Masses in chemistry are relative to carbon-12, which is an isotope of carbon. We call these relative masses because they're relative to carbon-12. In chemistry, we say that atoms of carbon-12 have a mass of exactly 12, and then one twelfth of the mass of this atom is counted as one. At GCSE, we saw that isotopes are atoms of the same element with a different number of neutrons and different masses. A good example is copper, which has got two main isotopes. Atoms of one of the isotopes have a relative mass of 63, and atoms of the other isotope have a relative mass of 65. We call these values relative isotopic masses. Relative isotopic mass is defined as the mass of an atom of an isotope compared with one twelfth the mass of carbon-12. You need to learn that definition as you could be asked it in your exam. Now, there are several points that you need to learn about relative isotopic mass. Firstly, there's one relative isotopic mass for each isotope of an element. Secondly, relative isotopic mass is always a whole number. It's never a decimal. And lastly, relative isotopic mass has got no units. Coming up, we're going to look at relative atomic mass. OK, now if you look in your periodic table, you can see that the mass number for copper is actually 63.5. This is called the relative atomic mass and we calculate this value from the relative isotopic masses. Here's the definition of relative atomic mass, and again you need to learn this definition. Relative atomic mass is the weighted mean mass of an atom of an element compared with one twelfth the mass of carbon-12. Now the mean is weighted for the abundance of each isotope, in other words how common an isotope is. And again, relative atomic mass has got no unit. If you look at your periodic table, you can see that virtually all of the relative atomic masses are not whole numbers, and that's because relative atomic mass is a mean. We calculate relative atomic mass using this equation. Relative atomic mass equals the relative isotopic mass of isotope 1 multiplied by the percent abundance of isotope 1, added to the relative isotopic mass of isotope 2 multiplied by the percent abundance of isotope 2, and then all divided by 100. In the exam, you could be asked to calculate relative atomic mass given data on isotopes. So let's try some examples. Chlorine has two isotopes, chlorine 35 with an abundance of 75% and chlorine 37 with an abundance of 25%. Calculate the relative atomic mass for chlorine. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Putting the numbers into the equation gives us a relative atomic mass of 35.5 for chlorine. Here's another example. Thallium has two isotopes, thallium-203 with an abundance of 29.5% and thallium-205 with an abundance of 70.5%. Calculate the relative atomic mass of thallium. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, putting the numbers into the equation it gives us a relative atomic mass for thallium of 204.4. Here's one final example. Magnesium has three isotopes. Magnesium-24 with an abundance of 79%, Magnesium-25 with an abundance of 10%, and Magnesium-26 with an abundance of 11%. Calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium. Now as you can see, we've adjusted the equation to take into account the three isotopes. So pause the video now and try this question yourself. OK, putting the numbers into the equation gives us a value for the relative atomic mass of magnesium of 24.3. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to define relative isotopic mass and relative atomic mass. You should then be able to calculate relative atomic mass from isotope data. 